This might look like a regular brick wall behind me, but this past weekend, it was transformed into a drive-in movie theater for everyone in Dawson Creek to enjoy while still practicing social distancing. This was my last gig. Yesterday played on the big screen Saturday night at Wright's Food Service. Multiple surrounding parking lots were used for the movie, says the organizer Matthew Rivard, to ensure there weren't too many people in one area. 50 is the standard for gatherings. While the turnout was huge, Matthew says many steps must be followed in order to play a movie on the big screen. Fresh Air Cinemas is the first step of getting a license for a movie from $200 to thousands of dollars depending on the movie. He says it's always good to keep officials informed. You have to contact your local city officials, ask them what they require. Maybe there's federal laws. As for setting it all up. Super easy to do. Uh, as long as you have a projector, FM transmitter, so people can listen to this in their vehicle with their windows rolled up, their doors closed. Matthew says there has been a huge outreach of support from the community. It's amazing to see how much people want to help and trying to find ways to help in a time when we can't be together, but we still want to be together as a community. Matthew is working towards planning another event and says the movie will continue to be free for the public. Laura Kroos, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.